Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com, and today what we're talking about is sight fishing. Uh, you know, it's harder than you think. You know, you got to be real stealthy. You got to do a lot of different things if you want to sight cast to fish, especially in real skinny water. Uh, but there's some basic things that you have to master, I guess would be uh, the right way to put it, or you're not going to be successful. You're going to spook the fish. They're going to see you before you see them. So you have to figure out how you're going to see them before they see you. So this is really all about sight fishing on the flats or in, in uh, skinnier water just in general. So let's go ahead and cover some of these uh, basics to uh, sight fish the flats. Top tips for sight fishing the flats. Uh, number one, you got to have polarized, gla polarized glasses. There's just no way you can do it without polarized glasses because you're not going to be able to see through the reflection, the glare on top of the water. People argue, you know, oh, well, I spent $200 for these glasses. They're better than these. I spent $24. You know, I can't tell that much difference. I'm kind of cheap. You know, most of mine cost around $20, bucks, something like that. They work just fine. So I don't know. Um, you'll have to figure that out on yourself. But the one thing you are going to need to know is you need polarized glasses, period, end of sentence, or you can't sight fish. Number two. Height, elevation, you know, you got to get high. And I don't mean, uh, you know, I mean get high in elevation. You got to get as high up above the water so you have that sight angle where you can see farther uh, when you're looking for these fish. It's amazing just standing up on a cooler, you know, which is what, two feet tall, how much more you're going to see. So the higher up you get, the more you're going to see. And hopefully, um, you're going to be able to see those fish before they see you um, by getting higher. So you got your polarized glasses so you can see in the water. You want to get as high as possible um, on your boat or paddleboard or kayak or whatever. Um, you know, so so you you got to get high to but you got to get as high as you can up to, so you can see better. Uh, you know, when I'm paddleboarding, a lot of times in super skinny water. I prefer the stand-up paddleboard over the kayak just for this reason. I just can't see the fish when I'm down at water level. Whereas, you know, when I'm kayaking and other things, I'm not really sight fishing. I'm mainly just casting towards towards areas that look fishy. Whereas when I'm on the stand-up paddleboard, I'm actually, you know, sight fishing more because I'm so much higher. Um, you know, three, four feet higher when you're when you're standing up versus versus sitting down on something. And number three, you got to practice being observant. I know this just seems ridiculously simple and obvious, but the fact of the matter is you got to go out there and search for fish and train your brain on what it's looking for. You got to know that those weird looking dark shapes um, up up underneath the mangrove are redfish or snook and not a log. You got to be able to tell the difference. You got to uh, be able to key on movement. You got to look and look around your surrounding and oh that that log just moved over there. It must not be a log. Uh, color, just those color differences. You really got to figure these things out. And the only way you can do it is with lots of practice. You know, before you know it, you'll be able to tell what kind of fish it is just based by the shape and color and everything else. Um, and I put this down here, favorite truck. You ever notice, say you're in the market for a new truck and you're like, yeah, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get a blue, whatever, Dodge Ram truck. And before you can even, before you realize what's going on, you're like, wow, there's one, there's one, there's one. Before you know it, you see them everywhere. And the reason is because you told your brain, you gave your brain, your subconscious mind, a goalpost, you know, something to shoot for. Uh, and you can do the same with this. You can teach your brain, all right, well, I'm looking for these redfish. I'm looking for these snook, whatever. Uh, you train it, and before you know it, all of a sudden, oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. You'll start noticing them everywhere, too, just like you do when you're thinking about getting a new car or whatever it is. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I hope I don't sound too crazy, but you, you know, you, you really just start to notice all these things. Well, it's your subconscious mind that's noticing it. 
Same thing with these fish. You got to get up there, know what you're looking for. Oh, that's what they look like. Okay, that's what a redfish looks like underneath the mangrove. Oh, that's what a snook looks like when it's right by that dock post. You know, you got to just kind of train your brain. And then once you do that, these things are going to happen much more easily. So, yeah, that's it for today, I guess. I just said the basics because people are like, well, how do you see that? I didn't see that. You know, when I'm out fishing, it's basically just you train you train your brain, you kind of know what you're looking for. So you have to teach yourself that in order to sight fish better. But you can find all this information right on our website. It's www.fishyourassoff.com. There's a how-to section, a where-to section, a what-to section. Anything you need to know about fishing is going to be on that, on that website. But uh, that's it for today. Hope you learned something. Thanks.